Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to repair and fix the Windows 10 Store if it's not working properly. So I've made similar tutorials like this in the past, but I wanted to make one that was a little more comprehensive and went over a couple different troubleshooting utilities that I was not aware of at the time of my last video. So we're going to just jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is try and run two different utilities that are provided from Microsoft. So there is a troubleshooter for Windows apps. So I'm actually going to just run this troubleshooting utility first. It's pretty quick. So it says download complete. I'm going to double click to open it up. Windows Store apps, troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems. And this will troubleshoot problems that may prevent Windows Store apps from working properly. I'm going to select next. So they actually do give us a suggestion to sign in with a Microsoft account. So at that point you need to enter your account settings and then click on next. But it will scan for additional problems nonetheless if you have not signed into the account. But that just highlights one of the features of these troubleshooting utilities. So again it recommends that we have to get a Microsoft account synced up to it. The other troubleshooting utility would be if the settings do not launch or launch the store instead. There was an update that was released a couple of years ago, so I would double check and make sure that you are all up to date because that is important. Um, I know some people have disabled the Windows updates on their Windows 10 device, so it's important that you stay all up to date and check for updates. So that was kind of my second suggestion here. And you can do that by going and searching update, which will go under system settings, check for updates. And you want to make sure that your computer is up to date and updates have been installed recently. And if you go underneath update history, it'll give you a good rundown of recently installed updates. And you can go into services and re-enable the Windows Update Service if it has been disabled, which is fairly easy to do. And you know, I might as well show that in this tutorial. So you'll go underneath services, which is listed right above desktop app. You open that up. You want to scroll down to Windows Update. Right here. Right click on it. Click Properties. Underneath Startup Type, you want to make sure it's set to Automatic. Click on Apply and OK. And then you also want to go to search for the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. You want to make sure this is running as well. So same thing, properties, make sure it's running and startup type is either automatic or automatic delayed start. You can do either one, it's not that big of a deal. And then I would check to make sure that your updates are all up to date. And then if you're still experiencing a problem that it was not covered in my previous video of this matter, we're going to go to the start button and right click on it. And then we're going to select command prompt and in parentheses admin from this list. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. We need to have administrative privileges in order to run this. Now I have a command we're going to run here. I will paste this in the description of the video. So I'm going to just right click on the top bar versus administrator command prompt. Right click on this space. Left click on edit. And then finally click on paste. Now I'm going to hit enter to run this command. And now it will take a couple seconds to run, so just be patient. And once it moves on, that means it has executed. So we can close out of the command line window. And I recommend restarting your computer and then try and proceed to open up the Windows Store. If you're still experiencing problems, you can always try storing your computer back to an earlier time through the System Restore utility, which is always a very good bet. And you can also reset your PC through the modern UI settings as well, which is more of a last resort. But if you're experiencing problems with the Windows Store, there's likely other causes going on behind the scenes as well, if it's that severe. But I do genuinely hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.